I was talking to a subscriber yesterday. He called me and he mentioned something about fishing pliers and how they're all pretty much either super expensive or they're just junk and they don't last. And I told him I gave up on fishing pliers. This is what I use right here. It's the Baker long, long stainless steel. You grab, you go in their mouth, you put the hook shank around that, you give it a yank, boom, hooks out of the fish's mouth. Just that simple. I keep two of them here. I've had these for quite a while. They're stainless steel. Yeah, they're Chinese stainless steel, but Hey, guess what? Nothing's wrong with them whatsoever. They sit outside 24-7 right here. Or down there on my shelf. There's where I keep... Well, no, I think it's right here. This is where I keep my other hook extractor. This ain't nothing but some little bullshit $2 hand gaff that I bought on eBay. For a couple bucks I mean that's all it was and I got two or three of them and you know you can spend all this money on all kinds of stuff but when it comes to like whiting croakers all that I use this as a fish flipper I just watched a video by somebody else that I won't mention and he was raving about some fish flipper and my comment to him was, you know, dude, any piece of bent wire will work. You've seen me use a fish flipper before. And this is some stupid little hand gaff. And let me tell you, this will take any fish off. Right? And then, of course, what do I use for the, for the big sharking and stuff like that? For sharks... I go down here and I use this. This is a giant dehooker that you'll see me in all my shark videos popping off a shark with these. Now what I do with this, it's sort of the same thing as this. Except this, I'm using the weight of a croaker or something like that to hang on the hook and I just flip them off. That's how you really do it. You don't sit here, you know, making it into an hour long project with some stupid goddamn pair of pliers. I see customers doing it and they and I'm like, just give me that. <laughs> Gone. Okay. Fish is back in the water. But same thing with this. I, I take this and I loop it around and I've, you've seen it. If you're a subscriber of mine, you've seen it. I loop this around a heavy, you know, 95 pound cable stainless steel leader and I run it down and I get basically as if this is the hook, you get that in the crotch of the hook and you just pop one sharp jerk and you can just pop the hook right out of a hundred pound black tip on the side of the boat. No big deal. Another thing is. When it comes to line cutters and all that, you know, when you're cutting braid, this is my work desk right here. This is my desk. So I'm lucky. I got a big tray here. I keep this. I got binoculars. I got oil. I got uh, alcohol. I've got a sharpening thing. I got a tool or two here. I got a carbide sharpener. I got whistles, I got tools right here. And right here is what I came up with for cutting line. Because why? In these cup holders, I got all my line. There's two spool line right there over in them cup holders. So what I do is I made something like this. 
you've seen this. This will cut braid so fast it'll make your head spin. It's a ceramic bladed emergency line cutter for divers. This cuts braid in a nanosecond. I keep that there. And then on my tools of the trade page, of course, where I've got all the good stuff, is I got where you can just buy, you can buy a dozen of these, 20 of them in a pack for next to nothing. These little cutters. Now, what you say to yourself, oh, but Dave, they're going to get all rusty on my boat. Yeah, they could. And, but then, what do I do? I keep them in a foam thing right here with tape wrapped around it. And it's all soaked with oil. And it's always in there like that. I got some split ring pliers that I keep here. And I got a big needle that I keep in the foam. Because, you know, half of my life I'm getting people backlashes out of their reels. So I keep all that just like that. And I keep it right in there. So everything is super handy here on my desk. It's like a pencil holder, you know? It's like where I keep everything. I got line cutter, just pick it up. That is the story on the Jetty Wolf. Ah. Uh, I don't have this since I found this crazy little things. Hand gaff as a fish flipper. I don't have that on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, but I've got one of these. I've got two of them. You want to get the longest one. And I've got these. And these have been on my boat for whew, quite a while now. I don't know what that schmutz is on it. Let's see. I don't know what that schmutz is. But they last. And they're they're working. And I've had these for quite a while. I'd say probably over a year. And they sit right there. So I got links to many of these things. There's little cutters and the blue handled cutters. This, I don't know why that's rusty. And, and these right on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. So I just thought that would be an update and kind of telling you about my conversations that I have with my subscribers they call me they email me even non-subscribers i've had had them call me all the way from south florida and we chatted about suzuki outboards and so it's all good man it's all good check out the link below where i always have in the video description a link to my amazon tools of the trade page and i'm not kidding when you see stuff on there, it's because I use it. Now this right here is what I call the decatfishizer. Okay, same thing. Oh, it got bent. It got bent here somehow. But this also is just a fish flipper. But at the same time, it's got some weight where boom, I just whack those goddamn hardhead kitty cats, right? Smack them right on the head. <laughs> and shoot them off into the water let them be crab bait let's see what else do i keep down here oh i got this on my tools of the trade page or a walk he can attest i've done videos about this it is a giant fish lipper okay you squeeze this and the end opens up and when you got a boat like mine where you're releasing a big old bull redfish or some kind of decent sized fish and you can't you don't want to reach over you know hanging over the side of the boat that's what this long pole's about for releasing big fish holding them in the water letting them letting them gain their composure again and I've had this thing for quite a while. 
Now, I do take care of it. I don't beat fish with it. I don't do anything with it. And I, I kind of keep it oiled up. So this is another thing that's on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. That is in my boat. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, here's something else I keep just for shits and giggles. That's about a 25-aught shark hook with a floating lanyard on it for whatever reason if I have to do a flying gaff on somebody really big the barb is gone oh and another thing just so you're if you're out and you're hooking those damn sharks pinch the barb all the hooks come out and don't think you're going to be able to use this thing right here don't think you're going to be able to use this very easily with circle hooks. Circle hooks are just bullshit. Okay. This doesn't work with circle hooks very well. Because you can't flip it out of the hook, out of the fish's mouth very well. So I use straight mustad hooks and I pinch the barb. You know, these, I ground the barb off because this is like a, a big giant hand gaff. So that's sort of about it, but it kind of reminded me talking to Blake yesterday, new vision security. I guess he still goes by, I don't know, but he's a subscriber and we shoot the breeze on the phone. So there's just a couple things. I really like these. I really like these because anybody can pick these up and use them not everybody knows how to flip a fish i can shoot a fish i use i use the weight of the fish and flip them and go i could shoot a catfish 20 feet in the air all right thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one i don't know when that's going to be this weekend the wind is starting supposed to start blowing and of course what do i got I got kids, but we're probably going to go anyhow for the sheer fact that I don't know if they care or not. Alrighty, thumbs up and I'll see you later.